Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. So this is going to be a general reading for North Nodes, excuse me, North Node, South Node, and Cancer Capricorn. So we're on the Cancer Capricorn axis. If you have your North or South Node in any of those signs, this reading is for you. It is general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. For those of you who are current subscribers, thank you so much for joining me, sharing your energy with me. And for those of you who are new and stopping by, thank you so much. My name is Karen Yearwood. I'm an intuitive guidance counselor and I help people like yourself along the Ascension journey. So the North Node, the nodes actually are um, indicators of our soul's destiny. Our North Node really being that energy around where we're going to be uh, maximizing our potential, um, living our best selves in this human experience. But it's usually wrapped around obstacles, challenges, hardships, fears. Um, the South Node is the opposite of that so it is what we feel comfortable with doing it's our comfort zone gifts and talents that we may have brought over from past lives or things that we have just learned um, excuse me not learned that we don't have to learn but that we just fall into naturally it's just naturally um, something we do well or something that we're very comfortable with all right so cancer Capricorn let's see what we have going on for you I'm getting a few oracles from the astrology reading deck we have the fifth house some of you could have uh, one of your nodes in the fifth house that's the natural house of leo house of children play romance fun uranus okay your uranus your natal uranus could be aspecting one of your nodes making a strong aspect so a square conjunction trine opposition a sextile oops and i just <laughs> literally flipped the whole deck so give me a second let me pick these up um, Uranus is currently transiting the sign of Taurus. That is a fellow sign, fellow Earth sign to Capricorn. So right now Uranus is conjunct the, the North Node transit uh, Taurus. So that is actually going to be making a trine to your North, well, North or South Node in Capricorn. All right. Same thing with the South Node in Scorpio. That's a fellow uh, water sign to Cancer. So there is an aspect right there in terms of transits. But your natal Uranus could be um, making an aspect to your natal nodes. All right. And then finally, we have Chiron. So Chiron could also be making an aspect um, to either of your nodes here. Chiron is the wounded healer. That is the energy around um, how we can help others heal. But any type of blockages or painful experiences that we've had in this lifetime or from past lifetimes. Bottom of the deck is, oh, there we are, Cancer. So one of your nodes is coming up here at the bottom of the deck, Cancerian energy. That's, you know, I call it the mama bear of the Zodiac. It's really loving. It's feminine energy. It is, um, you know, it's the archetypal energy of motherhood or, you know, um, the, the maternal energy, maternal instincts with um, our relationships, whether that be an actual child or just anyone else in your life. So this is interesting here. We have the fifth house, Uranus and Chiron. So this could be, you know, healing through um, like sudden um, sparks of creativity and this could be coming through your children if you have them or working with children um, this could be healing the inner child um, this could be you connecting with parents right so you know you're like acting as the child in that relationship even if you are no longer a child um, what else here so that's all I'm getting intuitively and this Chiron here this could also be through work. I'm getting something with, since Capricorn is the sign of like career and professions um, in your North or South node, apply how it resonates, it could be in the sign of Capricorn. I'm getting that there could be something that you're wanting to uh, pursue in terms of how you are using authority or you know working or carrying out your day-to-day -day in your career could be around some form of creativity, like creating something or working with young people who are creating something um, really interesting energies here, Capricorn Cancer. Let's see uh, what we have for your three card spread. Let's get current situation, um, obstacle, and how to overcome or possible outcome. We have Pluto getting ready to transit out of Capricorn and into Aquarius. Uh, he is going to retrograde back into Capricorn and then officially be uh, in Aquarius next year, 2024. So we've had that Platerian energy kind of um, impacting your node 
either north or south in some way. Now it is gonna depend on what degree your node is placed at because right now uh, Pluto's at the latter degrees of Capricorn. I think he's like at 28 degrees now, 27 or 28 degrees. But if you have like, you know, your node in the earlier degrees, then you probably wouldn't be feeling that energy as much anymore. All right, but still, still an impact. Pluto's tiny, but he's very impactful. He's very powerful. Um, let's see, what do we have here? I am using the True Heart Intuitive deck here for the tarot. So current situation, we have the Justice card. I've been pulling this card like crazy, even in my personal readings. Um, Justice Energy, card of Libra, Venusian Energy. But this could be about um, making something official. So going back to what I said about work or you know, changing up what you're doing for your career, this could be you trying to make it more official, right? Getting contracts, doing agreements, um, maybe asking for more money if it's something that you've been doing for a while, right? Starting, starting to charge people a certain amount of money or doing like, um, I'm getting like pay scales or pricing scales or something like that. Kind of, kind of a specific message, but it could apply for some of you or someone who is immediately around you. Um, if that doesn't apply, this could be about your relationship. You know, you could be partnering with someone romantically who is a creator or who is involved in creative endeavor creative endeavors and you're just supporting right you're just kind of getting on board with that and that is healing through that process through that connection um yeah and it's just really bringing about a sense of um of unity and cohesion uh venus right now is in uh aquarius i can, i think she's ready to transit into pisces where she's exalted so it's a beautiful beautiful energy um and when venus was in capricorn which was last month i'm recording this on january 26th so um, about a month ago, we had Venus in your sign. So Venus um, did kiss your nodes uh, when she transited through Capricorn. So sometimes when uh, planets leave one sign and they go into the next, you feel the energies of what that planet does in that sign, right? But it's you feel it more so in the 3D when it's already transited out of the sign. So this whole time that Venus has been in Aquarius, you may have been feeling or may have felt or are feeling, excuse me, um, the Venusian energy in Capricorn, right? So that is more uh, partnerships, more um, a sense of like prosperity or fruitfulness as it relates to your career or whatever you're building. Um, yeah, so look in your uh, chart. I do read according to whole signs. So whatever house Capricorn Cancer occupies, that's going to be the area of your life that um, this energy impacts the most. And then, of course, whatever's making an aspect, as I mentioned before, whatever's squaring it, that's a 90 degree angle to your placement. Whatever's opposing it, that's whatever's exactly opposite. Uh, whatever's conjunct it, that's what's next to it. Whatever's trining it, um, the trines, I think, are 180 degrees. So uh, a little bit more uh, detail with astrology. But you'll know, once you pull your chart, um, no matter what uh, platform you use or what, uh, yeah, what, uh, not search engine, but you know what I mean, whatever uh, website you're on to pull your chart, it should tell you what your aspects are with all of your placements. Obstacle, queen of discs. In this deck, this is the queen of pentacles. So maintaining a sense of resourcefulness, and this could go back to what I mentioned about pricing, um, or asking to get a raise or you know just monetizing in general you know this could be an obstacle because perhaps this is wrapped around you know wounding right so feeling a little bit of imposter syndrome or feeling like you know you you really aren't that big of a supporter if it's somebody who you're supporting you know like a partner or a child or you know whatever else is involved here with this potential creative endeavor but there could just be a sense of like not really being clear on what exactly it is worth and that could be in uh wrapped up in the justice energy as well with those agreements and contracts is having conversations you know with those people involved um and this could be you know more informal it doesn't have to necessarily be something legal um but it just is again that process of making something official so going through like you know the process of things you know the, the cost or the time that you're putting into creating it or um what else yeah the time that you did I just say that? Sorry. The time that you take to make whatever it is or the time that you're investing in a project or a creative endeavor, you know, that's all embodied in the pentacles energy, any type of physical resource, which to me is also time. You know what I mean? Like, you know, using our time is um, can 
be directly related to a resource like money or space used, right? Or just like physical energy that we're exerting. But this is in the challenge position. And the queen energy is someone who is not just resourceful, but they're comfortable in their resourcefulness, right? So it's a little bit of that beautiful Venusian energy. You know, I, you know, all the queens are really like a lower octave of the empress. So she's um, fruitful, she's abundant, and she's very comfortable doing it. She's not really taking much action. That's more so the king. You know, the king would more so make strategy or, you know, delegate and things like that. But the queen kind of sits back and knows her worth, knows where she stands and everything, and is, you know, not afraid to um, defend that. But again, this could be something that you're working to, to really get to, right? You're working to get to that point where you feel like you can, you know, state your prices confidently or, you know, you, you aren't going to allow yourself to be talked down if it is a price or, you know, convinced to take on more work than you're comfortable taking on those kinds of things. All right. But you could be new to this because with that Uranus energy, even with the Chiron energy, that's that's more like sudden. That's more maybe something that wasn't really in the plan or in the cards, but it's like you're seeing how it could be beneficial to you in some way or how it is healing, right? Whatever this project is or creativity is. So what's the possible outcome or solution or suggestions from spirit? We have the Prince of Princess, Princess of Cups. This is Page of Cups energy, feminine energy. I'll get a clarifier, but that's like an offer, a small offer of, um, you know, friendship, connection, support. This could be somebody wanting to work with you, somebody who admires you, possibly younger than you or uh, less experienced than you. Let's see. Cards keep flipping today. <laughs> Cards keep flipping today with your reading. Excuse me. Oh, we have the Temperance card. Card of Sagittarius. So some of you could have Sagittarius placements right? Or you're working with someone who is a Sag. So this is pulling two extremes together, right? And this is your nodal energy, two extremes. And I think Cancer Capricorn is probably the two signs that I think are the most opposite, probably right up there with Virgo and Pisces. But yeah, but the, the Temperance card, it's known to be Archangel Michael. Um, it's patience as well, right? It's tempering yourself. It's knowing that you have value you have um, tools you have skill sets that may be in complete opposition to one another but they can bring something very beautiful into being right you can create something very beautiful with very very differing skill sets or working with people with different skill sets right working with people maybe across industries or people who have completely different backgrounds than you or are significantly older than you or younger than you um, hence the cancer of the child energy here with the fifth house. Um, and, you know, maybe that's something that you didn't expect, right? With the Uranus energy, like all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, I, you know, I really love working in this, you know, recreation center with these young kids. And, you know, I, I think I could really bring about a great, you know, program or I could, you know, bring about a really great, um, you know, a body of content, something like that. Again, it's a general reading, uh, so apply how it resonates. And I am getting really specific examples with this reading as well. So it may not resonate with everyone, but uh, this is what I'm getting. And I know I read intuitively, so again, not necessarily the meaning of the cards all the time when I do pull them. This is what I'm getting um, with this spread. Bottom of the deck right now is the Hierophant, the card of Taurus, Major Arcana. But the Hierophant also represents inst institutions. So I just mentioned the example of a school, right? This could be a university, a college, um, you know, lower level education, like K through 12 education, um, churches, recreation centers, which are usually at schools, but you know, it could be a community center, um, could be a shelter of some sort, you know, institutions that are, um, that have like a, a particular mission, right? So whether it's working with veterans, whether it's working with um, immigrants or, you know, people of, that have certain disabilities, you could be doing things creative, like, around that, you know, or, you know, or in that, um, in those, within those institutions or within groups of people that are in those institutions. I hope that makes sense. And maybe that's why the justice energy is here because again, you know, maybe you're looking to come on board more full time or do things more officially instead of just kind of informally, right? Kind of off the cuff. You want to make it more of like a, um, a monetizing thing, right? You know, justly, 
fairly, right? Not to take advantage of anyone, but you're looking to, you know, maximize your potential and be compensated to do so. I love it. I love this energy. Um, let's wrap up the reading with, I think I was doing animal spirit cards with the other reading, so I'll do that. My information's down below if you like a personal reading. If anything here resonates, like the video, um, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. All right, so we have Ladybug. This is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life. Absolutely. I love it, Capricorn. I love that message for you. Let's get two more. Honeybee. Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. Hmm, interesting. Didn't really get any energies with these cards, but perhaps, you know, the Chiron is here, so there could be some energies around forgiveness, um, maybe with not being supported in your past, um, you know, past creative pursuits, or, you know, maybe being betrayed in some way. Um, and then Hawaiian Owl. Your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. All right, pay attention, Capricorn. All right, I'll leave it here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I do hope to see you in the next reading and be sure to thrive. Bye.